Well, one of the nice things about having a new camera is now I don't have to wait for my daughter to get away from the television set before I can record a video. So, uh, this one's in the kitchen. Um, what I want to talk about uh, today very briefly is something that was running through my mind and has to do with um, the media, the news, and how skewed sometimes our, our sets of priorities are because of the news, because the news reports stuff that is very unlikely to happen. If the more spectacular it is, the more attention it will get in the news, <laughs> because it's new. <laughs> you know, the more mundane stuff doesn't make it in the news. And, and, um, to a large extent, it's the more mundane stuff that we really have to focus on. That's where our priorities have to be, because that's what affects the most people. And, you know, for example, you know, we, at 9-11, it was very traumatic, but um, because it was so spectacular, it brought a lot of people's attention to that terrorist act. In fact, helping the terrorists, <laughs> if you think about it. Um, but, you know, the amount of money we spent in relation to that far exceeds anything we've spent in healthcare so far. You know, and the truth is, is that people die of more mundane reasons. Most people die, you know, of all the people who live and die in this country, only a tiny, tiny sliver will ever die due to a terrorist attack. So why does it occupy so much of our national attention? It's because it's so spectacular. It's because it's covered so much in the media, okay? Um, so what I was going to suggest is this, is that if, if you, I'm not against the news per se, I think having some understanding of the news and current events is necessary, but it has to be balanced. You can't just watch the news and expect to understand what's going on because it's a microscope and a microscope that inverts priorities. It gives the most attention to the things that are least likely to happen. That if you really want to know what's going on, you have to, you have to read you have to think, you have to do other things, you have to examine the things that are important in your life, examine the way, you know, <laughs> what happens to most people, you know, and, and determine your own priorities. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to say for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.